my wife uh, and I met when we were just teenagers, and um, she had uh, an enormous impact on my life. I was a very selfish young man, and uh, all I cared about were my own goals. And uh, she reminded me that there was another five billion people in the world that uh, needed help and needed love and uh, needed guidance and needed education. And without her, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be standing here or be half the man that I am today. So thank you so much, my beautiful lady. As a musician and a singer, I've always wanted to uh, bring joy into people's lives and make people's lives a little bit better. But Doctors Without Borders goes much further than I ever can in, in the fact that they actually save lives and they prevent lives from, uh, from uh, not being able to take care of themselves and their families and they educate people all around the world and as she said over 70 countries and 8 million people that they've helped this year. You know we can't choose what country, race or religion that we're born into but we do all share one commonality and that's um, that we are human beings and we're citizens of the world. And what Doctors Without Borders believes is that we all are part of one race, and that's the human race. And that's why uh, they don't care where or who they're working on. They just make sure they get the job done. Nowhere else will you find such a well-dressed award <laughs> except the GQ Awards. So uh, to Doctors Without Borders, I am humbled by your work and inspired by your righteous hearts and minds and uh, of all the people that are involved. And it is my sincere desire that someday I may be able to continue to contribute to uh, such a great cause. Thank you all for this award. God bless you all. And uh, here's to GQ Magazine and Doctors Without Borders. Thank you so much.